All right, guys, what's up? It's me, and uh, it's another video. Not much different from the last. Went to the track, went out and flied. Flew, flew, flied, flied, I went out and flew. And it was fun, it was a good day. Um, most of the stuff worked. I got a lot of help with the track on getting my other car set up, the BZ3. Here it is, all set up and ready to go. It's a good car. Um, it's <sighs> okay. So it's a fast car. It's super fast. The issue is anywhere over, like say you had a linear curve on the throttle anywhere over like 20, 30%, the car is all over the place. So what, uh, I got help at the track from a fellow racer. And, uh, so basically what he did was he dialed back the throttle really far so that you can't full throttle it and make it go all over the place, which pulls out like the only saving grace of this car is that it's fast. It is not smooth. It is very twitchy. Uh, I had a little toe out. I haven't tried that yet. Hopefully that'll work, but um, there's gonna be stuff coming up in the video. I'm yammering and blabbering and you don't, you don't like all this crap. Let's go, let's start the, let's freaking, let's not stand on ceremony, mate. Let's start the show. <laughs> Seven point zero. Oh, shoot. Yeah, man. My car was driving the two-wheel drive. The guy to ask is Reese. Reese. Reese knows. Hey, Reese. Yeah. Oh, Can we get your knowledge for a second? Those cherry wine sodas are great, by the way. I just want to throw that in there. Cherry wine. Cherry wine. Cherry wine. The finest kind of cherry wine. In the wine, yeah. 16.3. I know what I'm getting my girl for that. So I can try to shim some of that out. Same kind of go the same issues. With the slow mode is perfect. The fast mode is <laughs> yeah. Go try the tires first. Try the tires. You're way off on the tire. Like, yeah. That's not even drivable, I don't think. Okay, so as he said, I, my, there's something up with the tires. I don't really have too much problem with the with my tire setup. But uh, if you notice, okay, that's a left. The right, you see, I have to adjust again because whenever I turn right, the car doesn't want to go straight again. It's stuck going right. And I have to readjust left in order for the car to go straight again. So here, I make a left, another left, straight, and I turn right, and the car, see, I had to readjust, right? And then readjust. Or when I got on throttle, it plows me into the, into the side of the track. No bueno. Right there. And it being four-wheel drive is super squirrely. But I think most of the what's how the car drives I could handle if I could just get it to go straight out of out of after a right turn. It'd be fantastic. I could probably dial in more of the speed. It's just and at this point, I don't even know if it's really worth it. It's a great looking car, but if I if I make these last few tweaks and it doesn't do anything, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm like uh, Carlton deal with it. He wants to buy it anyways. Uh, he's got a bunch of BZ3s and a bunch of different setups, and he could probably make it work. And I will just stick with two and drive. Good race, good race. This is the truck class. So in the truck class, basically all you need to be in the class is to have a truck body. You can put whatever car you want underneath that body. And it's a really fun race. There's a lot of people having a great time. So let's check it out. I'm gonna put you guys back on my head so you can see my, stop staring at my slick do. I don't know, here we go, let's see this thing. All right, Jason, you going to be ready? That's yeah, so nice. I'm going to have to break a mop Everybody say hi to YouTube. Hi. Don't make hi. Sure like TV. Hi. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And it's anarchy on the straight. <laughs> Okay, there's a camera on the other people over here. Watch your 
Vinity racing is super fun, you guys. Uh, down here at the track, it's a lot of fun. Most people... Super chill, super good time. Car's really fast. You'd think they'd be easier to tune, but they are not. They're tiny little full-blown on-road. The reason I wanted to get into mini zoos is that I've always wanted to race on-road. <laughs> A bunch of angry Skittles. <laughs> truck class. I, this is this is the class I really wanted to join, but she didn't have any truck bodies left. It just looks like a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, as I was saying, I've always wanted to race. I've always wanted to do on-road racing, but uh, here in Maryland, it's not popular anymore. So we've always wanted to race on road, and pretty much Mini Z is here. It's like super popular now. It's uh, so you get the same sort of on on road feel, but uh, a lot more fun in my opinion. So yeah, truck class. All right, guys. There it was. That was another day at the track in Gaithersburg. It's it's adds some light to the situation, even though the GoPro probably doesn't care. Um, it was fun this time. I was here yesterday. Not as fun because I have a car. You guys saw it's my um, Atomic BZ3. Apparently, it's a tuning problem child for most people. But once you get it dialed in, it's the fastest car on the track. Um, and I had got a lot of help. But right now, the hugest issue is the car does not want to, it is not stable at speed. Like it, there's a point at which the car is just a nightmare. A point at throttle where the car just, oh my, I don't, I don't know what's happening. And Part of me wants to just get rid of it because that's dumb. that's dumb. There's a way to tune that out, apparently, because, you know, because internet and really, I'm, that's where that's where I'm at right now. Do I want to like go down the rabbit hole of finding like 18 different forums and talking to people about how to get this car working right? Or just dump the fucker and buy two wheel drive and live my life. Bad <laughs> <laughs> choices. Uh, yeah. Next week we'll be racing with my son. I just hopped up his car. I got him. He's still brushed at this point, but uh, he's still. It should. It should be a fast brushed. He should be able to keep up next week. If he can't, then. Uh, I know why I'll be selling that BZR BZ3 to get. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Do all those things you do at the end of a YouTube video. And I'm pretty sure most people don't make it this far. But if you made it this far, here's a secret special message. If you guys want stickers, BUFPV stickers, then hit me up on Instagram right here. And I will mail you stickers. In the greater 48 states, I'm not mailing anything to Guam. Actually, you know what? I think Guam has a regular address, doesn't it? Like uh, Puerto Rico? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if Guam version, if you have a regular freaking American address, I will send you mail. And if you do not, then I am sorry. <laughs> yeah.